all. And first and foremost, I want to pay my gratitude towards the principal ma'am, Dr. Jasreen, and the head of the department, Dr. Sumar, and congratulate uh, Dr. Karanvi and Dr. Arman for conducting such a wonderful seminar. Uh, history as a discipline needs such type of the seminar to grow in the field of technology. So by conducting such type of the <laughs> seminar, we can promote students to indulge with the history. Either they have interest or not, but they have to have a good idea about the history, how we came to this position. So today I am going to speak on a topic, Aruna Asif Ali, a rebel and a freedom fighter. So she is a lady which is I think so quite unsung female fighter of Indian struggle for its independence. And if I go by the detail, uh, she was imprisoned thrice in her life and once she was declared as a scoundrel. you is freedom struggle so two directions the which jada hai pura paper divided hai ga. The one was how we called her as a rebel, and second direction which I want to go, how we can put the Aruna Asif Ali as a freedom fighter. So uh, as we all know, the rebellion or the uprising of 1857, where we placed Chansi Dirani as the center, the woman freedom fighter in the rebellion of 1857 was Jhansi Girani and if we go to the Quit India Movement Parat Chattu in 1942 then we have the name of Aruna Asif Ali and because she was the lady who hosted a flag when the all Congress leaders get arrested on the 8th of August 1942 and she was the lady who lead that things she was the one who hosted a national flag at Goikwala tank madan in Bombay and from that day she declared as a scounder until uh, I think so on 26th of January 1946 she was a scounder and she worked underground. So now I move to from the how from here where he got birth and how he associated with him. This is just a brief thing you can connect the things when I read the paper. So Aruna hails from a Brahmo Samaj family, she is not from a Punjab. Her family moved to Kalka because her father works in railway and her father moved to Kalka from all the way Bengal and Aruna uh, Asif Ali, uh, Aruna Ganguly at that time has born at Kalka on 16th of July 1908. So Aruna Gangli was the uh, eldest child of the family of two girls and four, uh, three boys. And Aruna and her younger sister Purnima received their early education in the convent of the Sacred Heart of Jesus at Lahore. So her earlier education was at Lahore and because it was a convent school and she got quite influenced with the Jesus and his stories, uh, especially she attached to one of the warden of her school and she decided to become a nun. This was earlier life that Aruna Asif Ali decided to she want to become a nun which was quite a shock for her family that their child want to become a nun and their family uh, uh, decided to <coughs> brought their child out of that school and they admitted their child into general liberal school although that was also English medium school all saint college at Nainital and this is the time her father also moved to Nainital and where he opened a hotel. So now he moved to there, his uh, elder sister also moved with uh, her, her to Nainital and there the journey begins, a new journey of Aruna Asif begins and from after getting her earlier education she wants to prove her higher study. Now the rebel daughter begins. She wants to uh, continue her study. Her father has no money to afford the study of Arna Asif Ali and she start working. She start teaching in a school in Calcutta and that the name of the school was Gokhale Memorial School for Girls and her intention was that she want to did her uh, further higher study either for Cambridge or from Oxford or Harvard. So she has a mindset that she want to go to for higher study and her father said Ki, I have no money to support your education. Then she start uh, uh, as a teacher, as a career. 
So meanwhile, in a summer vacation, she got a chance uh, in summer vacation to visit her sister in Allahabad uh, for summer vacation. This is the time when she met Aruna Adal, so Asif Ali, her husband, or we can generally the historian call, she met her uh, Prince Charming in Allahabad while staying her uh, in summer vacation. It was just a chance. She went there, it was a chance, um, uh, Asif Ali came there because he's a friend of the, her, uh, we can say, ki, you know, the sister, the husband, they were friends, he usually one day, you know, they got stay, got they see, and Aruna Gangli met here, Asif Ali, Asif Ali was an established <coughs> name at that time in 1928, and he was a prominent barrister who has a good working, uh, we can say, he was a very renowned barrister, he has a good connection in Congress, and he was also one of the good leader of Muslim League also. He continuously attending the League meetings also, Congress meeting also, and he was very prominent. He also has a good interest in English literature. So now these conversations in the drawing room of her sister turn to be a marriage that uh, we can say create a stir at that time. The marriage that create a stir at, uh, we can say, at national level because it is a marriage of Hindu-Muslim marriage and if nobody at that time has that rebelling nature, her parents are not agreed over this marriage and she is a rebel daughter. Generally, her mother usually call her rebel, even many times Mahatma Gandhi called her as a rebel, you rebel daughter. Even there are so many letters written by Mahatma Gandhi to Aruna Asif Ali and where he was generally writing, you rebel, you rebel, because she is rebelling from the earlier day. Earlier she wants to become nun, now she wants to marry with a Muslim man and if that is the occasion, uh, even in the national platform, there are so many people who doesn't support her marriage. Just like Mother Mohan, uh, Pandit Mother Mohan Malviya was also criticizing Jugal Kishore Khanna also recalls that when the uh, uh, recall that when Asaf Ali was a Congress candidate from Delhi during the 1934 elections to the Central Legislative Assembly, in which he won against Rai Bahadur Natai Chand, some communists, both Hindu and the Muslim, held it against Asaf Ali that he had married a Hindu girl. So. This was a certain objection he, uh, even Asaf Ali, even Aruna both had to face. But Gandhi supported them. Gandhi made a very strong statement over that particular marriage. He, they, uh, Gandhi supported them. But on other side, Aruna is saying that this is not that Gandhi is validating my marriage and that's why I am marrying Asaf Ali. We have another connection. Asif Ali is one of the men I got attached, I have uh, something, we have a common interest, that's why. And this is not that key. the people are uh, objecting such a marriage just because it was a Hindu-Muslim marriage, there is a age gap of 22 years. She's only just 19 years old when she's getting married and Asif Ali is around 41 years old. And this is something that uh, we generally people called Aruna as we can say a rebel daughter. She rebelled at that time. So after that Aruna Asif had not only the strength to marry the person she was attached but also the sexity of making a success of her marriage. As she herself has often said that no husband could have been more generous and liberal than Asif Ali. And once one comes to think of it, does it not seem me extraordinary that the Ganguly family should have given to the country three remarkable persons, Aruna Asif Ali, Purnima Banerjee and Nandita Kiprani, <coughs> each so versatile, so gifted, so unique in her own special way. And after marriage, uh, Asif Ali and Aruna Asif Ali shifted to Delhi and initially Asif, uh, Aruna was not much interested in pol politics after getting married. So very soon after her marriage, Aruna was inducted into the work of the Delhi Indian Women League by Rameshwari Nehru, who was its founder and the president, which was affiliated to All India Women Conference in 1929. And the work would keep Aruna occupied during the day, away from some stifling social atmosphere of their house. So while Asif Ali went to the courts for attending the meetings of Delhi Municipal Committee and 
Uh, this is a time on 8th of April 1929, Auna Asif Ali along with her husband Asif Ali were among the distinguished visitor gallery watching the proceedings of the Central Legislative Assembly when Pagat Singh and Bakuteshwar the threw revolutionary leaflets and bomb into the assembly hall. So Aruna Asifal was one of the eyewitness of the whole thing when Pagat Singh threw the bomb in assembly. So she was there as a wife of Asif Ali who has a visitor pass. So further on the next year in March 1930 when Gandhi started his historic anti-salt campaign from Sabarmati to Dandi beach and it was Asif Ali who got uh, acting part in this Satyagra and got arrested in this Satyagra and from here after the arrest of Asif Ali this is a beginning of the career of uh, Aruna in active politics or the active in uh, we can say India's struggle for its independence. So after the arrest of Asif Ali it was Aruna who gave her first public speech on the issue or the origin and the significance of the rebellion of 1857 by she wants to we can say uh, indulge more people in this so he she generally quoted how the people sacrifices their life uh, in the time of the rebellion or uprising of 1857 so she encouraged a lot of uh, people as a young revolutionary she refused to and after her the speech, the chief commissioner of Delhi ordered her to furnish a security bomb for good behavior. Ki jaldi to see government de khilaf speech did di the government to same to look at this. Ki agge to see star and the nil karunge, the sanu security bomb jeda hege sign karo. It amounted some money. Ki to see passage amount karane ki jiasi is tarandi agge to her kat nahi karane. So, but as a young revolutionary, she refused to grant a security bound and she was arrested <laughs> and sent to Lahore jail for an year's imprisonment. So, this was the first arrest of Aruna Asif Ali. And after a few months, when the Gandhi even packed all, signed all political prisoners were released, but Aruna was not released under Gandhi Irwin Pact. So as she was not released, her other jail mates or women jail mates also refused to go outside the jail. They want the Amma should also release with us. So um, Gandhi and another people, uh, uh, specifically uh, Dr. Ansari intervened and sent letters or telegram asking the other women prisoner to leave jail. They will deal Aruna matter on another way. So after their request, their telegrams to the female inmates of Lahore jail, they left. Aruna still was in jail. So later on she was released and Aruna was given an enthusiastic uh, reception by a large number of her friends including Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan outside the jail premises of Lahore. And another thing which uh, Aruna object this time while in jail was the jail name. She saying why you generally call this jail name as female jail? Ki tu see female jail kyo gare hai You have word woman jail. So uh, when second time he got in prison that time she noticed that he nahi ona de camp te object karan de jail da naam badal ke Britishers ne woman jail karta si da dusri mari chanta. So, so further in 1932 Arma was again in prison and was ordered to pay a fine of rupees 200 and she again refused to pay fine and the police instead of getting the money from her husband walked away with the sum of the most expensive saris of Arna Asif Ali which was gifted to her by her husband Asif Ali in those days and by Delhi district jail. So, those were pay nahi de te, ona de karche hai, ona de saariya jadiya si, ye expensive saariya si, oh jakke lage, why? Because Aruna is not a, she is a well person. Achche ne, ona de husband baat achche kamai kare ne, ehi to de nahi sakte si. She is a revolutionary in herself. So, now as a protest, Ritala Aruna went on hunger strike when second time she is in jail. Although she felt sick, she kept up her fast until the jail authorities agreed 
and at the same time government tried to punish her by transferring her to ambala jail which was a male jail at that time where she was kept in a uh, solitary confinement and when the term of her uh, uh, imprisonment expired aruna returned to delhi and for next 10 years she did not took any active part in politics so now the after second time in prison when the active contribution of arma asif ali came in 1942 in 1942 all india congress committee in the first week of august she uh, having their annual uh, not annual session special session and this was a pleasant and cordial as ever perhaps a shade more vicious excited than usual she fitted about the uh, because asif ali is a member of congress he usually accompanied her to the meetings of indian national congress and on 7th of august 1940 in the all india congress committee meeting began and the grand pandal of 35000 square meet at gwalior tank madan of bombay and due to apprehensions of the war and uncertainties of the war compelled gandhi to begin his speech and this time gandhi delivered his speech in hindi by saying that he did not believe that british would defeat it but if they were defeated they would follow a scorched earth policy as they did in burma malaya and in that event japan would have attacked india so on the evening of 8th of august 1942 all indian congress committee members adopted a new resolution that demanding the immediate ending of british rule in india and it also authorized gandhi to take the lead and guide the nation in quit india movement satyagraha and this followed the adoption of resolution after making this speech the every congress leader got arrested by the britishers and now this was only aruna who was left and she thought ki this is a, a you can't left the people unattended ki sare log arrest ho gaye ne tusi lokan nu unattended nahi chhad sakde agle din congress da fir to session hai ga and now aruna asif ali took the lead and in that lead she hosted a flag ki wo apa kehne ki unne rashtr da chanda lehraya और जिम्मे उन्होंने लहराया नाल ही ब्रिटिशर्स जेडे है वो गायब हो गए उस तो बाद लहरान तो बाद ही ब्रिटिशर्स ने उन्होंने आप कहता अपस्काउंटर डिक्लेयर किया विद प्राइज मनी ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड की पांच हजार रुपए का उन्होंने इतने इनाम है और उन्होंने जोड़ा है डिकलेयर किया गया अपस्काउंटर सो इस तो बाद जो आप देखते हैं कि जो अरुणा आसिफ अली जो है अंडर ग्राउंड है शी डिड वेरी यूजफुल वर्क फॉर कंट्रीमैन she and her colleagues to the five main street and area because apa kehne bengal ji pe mai nan da is samay de upar and they also help the poor villages by looking after their needs and they also organize the radio station usha mehta nal milke radio station banande ne aur jis tu ki oh lokan nu inform karde ki quit india movement kive chal rahi hai tusi oche kive yogdan pa sakde ho kithe ki meeting hai and from 9th of august 1942 to 26th of january 1946 sade 3 saal da sama hai jadu arun asif ali jehde aap kehne hai underground rehnde ne aur isse 3 sade 3 saal de samay de vich teen letters jehdiyan hagiyan ne gandhi ne oh arun asif ali nu likh de ne oh ohna di jehdi collection hai hai collected works of mahatma gandhi oh jithon nu mil jugi और सब तो पहली लैटर के जो गांधी को पता लगता है क्योंकि अपस्काउंटर ने वो अपनी हेल्थ का ख्याल नहीं रख पा रहे हैं गांधी के कि अरुणा आली आसिफ अली की हेल्थ बहुत डिटीरेट हो गई है पहली लैटर के गांधी उन्होंने कहते हैं एंड कोर्ट आई हैव बीन फिल्ड विद एडमायरेशन फॉर योर करेज इन हीरोइज्म आई हैव सेंट यू मैसेज दैट यू मस्ट नॉट डाई अंडरग्राउंड यू आर रिड्यूस्ड टू अ स्केल्टन do come out surrender yourself win the prize offered for your arrest reserve the prize money for the harijan cause ki kehnde ki tusi mainu khadsha hai ki kisse tusi underground hi na mar jao mainu pata lage ki todi health bahut deteriorate ho gayi hai tusi khud hi surrender karo apna prize money lo aur us prize money nu harijan cause de layi aap kahiye to help the downtrodden aap kehne hai ode layi varto so same time me unhone 9th june nu letter likhi hai ki hai aur thode time baad gandhi nu realize hunda hai 
ਕਿ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ 42 ਚ ਰੈਜ਼ੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਪਾਸ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕੁਇਟ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਖੁਦ ਦੇ ਵਾਲੀ ਵਾਰਸ ਹੋ ਡੂ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਡੂ ਔਰ ਡਾਈ ਦਾ ਨੋਸ਼ਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਦੈਨ ਗਾਂਧੀ ਫਿਰ ਲੈਟਰ ਲਿਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਨੋ ਵਨ ਟੂ ਗਾਈਡ ਯੂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਲਿਖਤੀ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਰੈਂਡਰ ਕਰ ਦੋ ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਨੋਟ ਵਨ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਨੋ ਵਨ ਟੂ ਗਾਈਡ ਯੂ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਯੂਰ ਹੋਲਸ ਔਨ ਡਿਸੀਜਨ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਔਰ ਨਾਟ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਉਹ ਲਾਸਟ ਚ ਆਪਣੀ ਲੈਟਰ ਚ ਲਿਖਦੇ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਚਾਹਨਾ ਕਿ ਰੱਬ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਸਹਾਈ ਹੋਵੇ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਗੋਡ ਬੀ ਯੂਰ ਸੋਲ ਗਾਈਡ ਐਂਡ ਡੂ ਐਸ ਹੀ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗਸ ਯੂ ਦਿਸ ਆਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਮਿਸ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਨਾਟ ਜੱਜ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਮੈਟਰ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ so a gandhi fir likhte ki tusi jo marzi karo ki thodi marzi hai it was i think so it was a god responsibility so same time jawahar lal nehru bhi unna nu letter likhte hege hai aur jado jawahar lal nehru release hunde ne in after jado ladai khatam ho jandi hai 1945 che aur jawahar lal nehru likhte among them it is only in the fitness of thing that i must take the name of one of india's brave women aruna asifali my voice can reach her that whatever she has done shall not be wasted and will bear the fruits ki ohna nu vi dar hai ga ki ohna di kithe underground di na death ho jaye aur is letter da jado aruna asifali bahar aande jado na warrant cancel hunda ta oh reply karde ki mainu pata hai ki tusi mera naam is karke le you want to promote the uh uh the contribution of the female so is to baad apa kehne hai ke ki cabinet mission and all that things are done up and then uh, uh there was a uh, it was not that ki aruna se fali jehde hai ke ne oh national leaders nu criticize nahi karde bade sare mauke aande ne oh gandhi nu bhi criticize karde ne i have certain references but i have to wind up oh nehru nu bhi criticize karde hai ke ne ਔਰ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ 45 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਨਾਨ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਦਾ ਰੈਜ਼ੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਪਾਸ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਲੈਟਰ ਲਿਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਅਸਤੇ ਪਲੀ ਅਚੁੱਤ ਪਟਵਰਦਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਖੁਦ ਕਿਆ ਸੀ ਡੂ ਔਰ ਡਾਈ ਕਰੋ ਕੁਇਟ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਚ ਹੁਣ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਟੋਟਲੀ ਨਾਨ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਨੂੰ ਫੋਲੋ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ 1942 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਣੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਸੈਕਰੀਫਾਈਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਲਜ਼ਾਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਾ ਸਕਦੇ you have no authority to lessen the sacrifices made by the people in the rebellion of 1942 by adopting only non violence uh, resolution so then the arna asifali warrants cancelled in january 1946 she came out and is to baad jeda hai ga even after independence she indulged in so much of the women question unan bharat ratan bhi milda hai ga after her death in 19 i think so in 1998 de vich on several 96 jo na di death hundi hai ki aur 1997 de vich jehda apa kehne highly civilians de liye award hai india da oh aur na asif ali nu milda hai so to conclude je apa dekhe ki she became an example of truly emancipated indian women whom gandhian folks jehde apne work de vich likhte hai ki new women si india di oh and defined all roads of the history aruna asif ali worked with men in the india struggle for its independence and aruna asif ali efforts for india struggle for its independence began from gandhi's 1930 satyagraha and continued till india got its independence and even one thing i missed up after her release she also visited pagat singh samadhi ki pagat singh ki samadhi te jande jive hi unna da warrant cancel hunda hai ਔਰ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਗੱਲ ਨਾਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਰੈਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨਰੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਐਫਰਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਪ੍ਰਮੋਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਔਰ ਗਾਂਧੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਖੁਸ਼ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਔਨ ਦ ਈਵ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਪੈਂਡੈਂਸ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਰਾਇਲ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਨੇਵੀ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਰਿਬੈਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀਗਾ 46 ਚ ਆਪਣਾ ਅਸਲ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਔਰ ਗਾਂਧੀ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਟ ਰੈਬੀਲੀਅਨ ਮੈਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦਾ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਦਿਸ ਵਾਸ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਡਿਬੇਟਸ ਕਿ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਲੈਟਰਸ ਦੋਨਾਂ ਚ ਕਨਵੇ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸਪੋਰਟਿੰਗ ਦ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਦ ਟੋਟਲੀ ਨੋਨ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਟ ਪੀਪਲ ਸੋ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਜਸਟ ਅ ਕਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ